I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying. And I'm a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, baby birds, just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping. Like this. <laughs> they're copying you, Ben. Now flap faster. Now jump. They're flying! Clever, Ben! You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. Bye-bye, <laughs> birds! There they go. Goodbye, little ones. Oh, don't say you miss them now. No, I've just got something in my eye. Have the chicks hatched yet? I want to tick them off in my book. They've flown away, Daddy. I taught them how to fly. Oh, baby woodpecker chicks are a once-in-a-lifetime sight for a bird spotter. But you missed them. It's not fair. Now I'm not going to spot anything good. <coughs> Hello? King Thistle, we've got a strange nest in the castle. A nest? I'll be there straight away. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready? Engines are go! Computers ready? Computers online! Fuel system ready? Fuel systems A OK! Start the countdown! I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Or fairy. Oh, sorry, Holly. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and a okay wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off. in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little! I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. 
And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, here Your, your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Ah. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK, let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Good evening, Your Majesty. So, are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, splosh. <laughs> there you go, Froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Froggies. Polly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <coughs> ah. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look! They're following us! Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done, Ben! Hooray! Back to the kitchen! Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, Slime of a slug. Ugh, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad. <gasps> <gasps> Tastes disgusting! Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> <gasps> I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry. Come on, boy. Ah. Oh. If we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it 
properly. Yes! You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, Captain! Big bad. Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent! Now we wait, but not for long. Eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big! He's too bad! We have to let him go! Never! Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the line! Ah! Then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah, he's eating Banty! <laughs> Say cheese? Cheese! <laughs> <gasps> what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top. Quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr. Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? <laughs> oh, uh, it, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Help to snail. <gasps> Naughty Nanny, you said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha 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 ha. What's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum. And she got angry and did a spell on him. The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> He doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> Your Majesty. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <laughs> they don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. <laughs> Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum.
What did he say? Stop the wind! Oh, OK. All winds, away you go! Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. <laughs> you shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Polly. Where are we going? To the kitchen. We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone! Ooh, thank you! I'll be back with more! <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot! Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long! Oh dear! <laughs> ah, we'll soon be home! Yes! And it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes. Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, ziggity, ziggity, stop! 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 For you! That's better! Oh! Ah! Away. Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zig, zag, zig, make it big. Oh no, Nanny! I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry, the spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute, or a week, or... Chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Was Nanny Plum rude to Mrs. Witch? A bit. Hmm, witches can be a little moody. Are you going to tell Mrs. Witch off, Daddy? No, 
I've got a better idea. Who's there? King Thistle. King Thistle who? Uh, King Thistle, King Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. You must be the Mrs. Witch I have heard so much about. Please let me explain. About your cleverness, your kindness and beauty. Uh oh Not to mention your wonderful cooking. Would you like a worm cake? No, thank you. I believe you may have frozen Nanny Plum. Yes, I have, but... I completely understand why you would want to do this. You do? Nanny Plum can be quite rude at times, but she's really not that clever. Yes, well... I am sure, being as clever and as kind as you are, and knowing that Nanny really can't help herself, you will let her go this time. <coughs> quite apart from that, I need Nanny to cook my dinner. I could cook you dinner, Your Majesty. That's very kind of you. I was just about to boil some toads in the hole. But I just need Nanny Plum back. I understand. Just one moment. Say thank you for having me, Nanny. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Mrs. Witch, and very nice to meet you. I'm honoured, Your Majesty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. <laughs> Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> Oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> this is fun. A cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Sits at Zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Can't catch me. Yes, we can. <laughs> Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. Oh, stinky whippy poo! And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not 
not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari. Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> <coughs> we should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush! I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. Oh, <coughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny! We've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. 
grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <coughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Ooh. Custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine... Elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Follow that chicken. Oh, no. The clockwork has wound down. Quick, Ollie. Let's wind it up. Oh, hello. Will somebody give me an egg? Now! <laughs> Goodness me! <laughs> Nanny Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. 
So, what did it say? Mrs. Chicken said. Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. <laughs> Even worse. Very good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> I like your work, Daddy. It's fun. Oh, 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 you're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Don't hatch. Oh dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Ben? I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, Your Royalness. <laughs> Wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh. <gasps> oh, dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. 
What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. <laughs> but what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Hooray! Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Pieces of eight. Oh, goodness me. Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard, the elf pirate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. 
I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lift up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! Lots, lots, lots! Oh, hang on, everyone! Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Plum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Uh, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks! Get set! Go! Uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <coughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <coughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly! Jelly! But not a lot! 
Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny, Nanny Plum! More, more, more! Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What? Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy, Fuzzy Wuzzy. Phew, do you think that's it? Yes, luckily birds can't hold wands. <coughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magic in. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. <laughs> I think I'll take those wands. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Is it morning already? Oh. Must tidy up. Must Tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Ah. Ah. Goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything! Yes! Including us! It's a monster! How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it! Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now? Right-o! Ben, there's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Right-o! Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing! And what are we? We're elves! Master, master, master! Oh, it's wound down! Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic! 
What have you got there, Gaston? It's the proper key. Well done, Gaston. Uh, ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. Ah, that's the toy robot I remember. It's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you. Oh, how did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, uh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Ben! Holly! Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf, do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum! We've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. Mmm. <coughs> Delicious. Mmm. <coughs> yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. <laughs> When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadeezee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadee. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadee Zabadeezee. Hooray! For you, I'm glad that's over. You see, girls, it's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm. Maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. Hey, it worked. <coughs> Into birds. Zabadi Z. And into rabbits. Abracazabadi. There, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, okay then. Abracazobadi Zabadi Z. 